Other items to consider when inspecting the exterior walls of a home are as followed. An algae buildup is not a desirable condition for any exterior surface. Algae leads to dry rot and other deteriorating conditions. It is an indication that the house is not able to dry out properly, which could be due to shading from trees or other structures. On this exterior stucco wall, you can see that the weep screed has been covered by an improperly installed sidewalk. The wall cannot dry out sufficiently, which has caused the algae to develop. This is an early precursor to mold and water damage inside the wall. The entire perimeter of the home should have an open space between the foundation and the exterior wall, be it wood, stucco, vinyl, or any composite. Dirt does not allow the exterior walls to properly vent. If dirt is allowed to build up to the siding or weep screed, problems will develop. Additionally, dirt along the side of the house Flush with the exterior wall also allows termites to build their tunnels into the house, giving them a facilitated access throughout the structure of the home. Here you can see a concrete patio slab that was installed covering the weep screed and at an angle that directs water towards the house. This combination of errors will promote a rapid disintegration of the exterior wall. This is an all too common mistake made by homeowners not realizing the catastrophic effects that the lack of proper wall ventilation will have on their home. Any such homeowner added features that prevent exterior wall ventilation would void the developer's responsibility to any wall or mold damage. It is important that overhanging plant material like bushes or trees are removed. The foliage fills the rain gutters, causing them to back up and misdirect water into the house. Tree limbs, blowing in the wind, could strike the house causing damage to the roof and the exterior walls.